Hey guys, welcome back to part number four of my SU-33 build. This week we're going to do flaps and wings. Hey guys, welcome back. So, carry on with this build. Um, I'm going to do flaps. I'm going to do the flaps and if I've got time we'll do the wings too, but we'll see how we get on. So, at least the flaps and... Um, it's not quite as bad as it looks in instructions because I think I mentioned this earlier on one of the earlier parts, but you got it looks a lot of stuff going on here for a flap left left flap one, but you've really got to look at instructions here the diagram. This is flaps up, this is flaps first stage, and this is flaps second stage or fully down. So really got a line. So if you do flaps up, you just do that section so we can block out those two if you want to. That, either that one or that one. So there's only really one block on the page, so it's not quite so bad. And as we go through um, the next pages, it follows it. So say we're doing flaps fully down, which I am going to do, we're just going to do the bottom row. So A and B we can all. So we're going to do C, we're going to do F, we're going to do I, and we're going to do L. So right one and two, left one and two um, flaps. So yeah, so we can ignore the whole top two rows all together. So we can put Sharpie through that and not worry about them. So not quite as bad, as it, uh, daunting as it looks. So I did do a little bit of research and when the wings followed up, the flaps are fully retracted. Here's my tablet right here. Um, and you can see here quite clearly the flaps are fully down. So just check my configurations there. We are good to go. I know when I built my Meng um, F18 FA18E, I, I, I think I did the flaps down, I had to tweak them to flaps up for the, um, the folded sections. But, but this, side, this time around I did my little bit of research on the way and um, as you can see again, the flaps are fully down. And um, go through the pictures here. Again, another picture, flaps down, flaps down. So, yeah, so we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow this. So again, A and B we're not gonna worry about. Now, in fact, let me get my pen and we can actually score through this stuff. So, not doing that, not doing that, not doing that, 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 or that. So, now we're just going to follow these four, four steps. I'm going to do page 17C, page 18F, page 19I, and page 20L because we're going down. Cool. So, let me get all the pieces together and start putting this thing, you know, seeing how it goes. It doesn't look too bad. Um, Looks like we have a couple of parts and a couple of little kind of brackets and stuff that go in between, which, do, which we don't glue. Look at the symbol right here. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all. So, let me go ahead and get the parts kind of sprues out and get the parts ready, and we'll go ahead and start building this. And we're going to start with um, section 16C, flaps assembly, left one, 16. Okay, so built left one already. This guy here, into like five, 10 minutes. So, not bad at all. So basically you build it up, um, there's a photo actually go down the side here. And um, yeah, this is how it looks. I'm gonna sh I, there's something tricky with this one. See, I have to glue this one in place, whereas this one's loose, which it should be. So you can kind of fit onto the aircraft, I guess. So this is fully down flap. So let me kind of tell you a few things what I found out from doing that first one. So now I'm gonna do, I did left one, now, now I'm gonna do right one and kind of do it with you on the film here to kind of show you what's going on. So. First of all, you get C16 and 36, and then sandwich, and then you put J71 and 70 in between. So here is the, the set part, and this is super tiny, so you're not even going to see this on the camera probably. But these guys, be very, very careful when you cut them off the sprue, because these, if you can see, there's a very tiny little kind of bit sticking out from each side, which I thought was where it's attached. I thought it was, I sound, one of them that sounded off. Um, but you don't because these actually click into place. So very careful when you cut these off. So 71 goes in like This is where it gets tricky. You kind of got to filter it. Okay, so it goes in like that There's a couple of grooves on there. This is gonna fall out, but so basically they, they fit in with no glue. So what I'm gonna do first is Get my glue. I'm gonna use the white top cement Extra fin's gonna to dry too quickly and evaporate for this. So I'm just gonna run around the edge. And then get the other side. I'm gonna put it in from the here, but not. 
Okay, but not press it down because I want to kind of squeeze in the um, these guys. So you kind of want to get it like that. Sorry, it's kind of hard for me to do a cap. You kind of want to slide it in. Okay, then sandwich it together, and then hold it and glue it, and then you can see they kind of move around to help in place. So that's that bit done. Then you want to take L14 and 13. Sorry, then that's a, um, L11 and 12 on here. So 11 and 12, again with super tiny parts here, so sorry about this. So and then these go, you see there's like grooves here and a groove there. So I'm just going to get a bit of white top glue again, so it gives a little bit extra wiggle room to work. And I'm just going to run a little drop each side. And then these go in facing up. Oh, I did it wrong. Like that, and they run that parallel a bit that kind of sticks out. And this guy goes in here. Okay. And I come back my extra thin and run down the side of these just to make sure they're really kind of strongly glued. Stab a little bit each side. And then that's that part done. This part right here. So I'm just gonna put this side, let it dry for a little bit. Okay, next up we, we need um, this part. So I'm just gonna pause the camera real quick, let this dry, and we'll come back and we'll do a second bit and then kind of put this all together. Okay, so got this piece cut off, which is C18. Um, stop the photo etch down the side here. And be careful, because this bit sticks up like that. Now, in a minute, you're not going to see it, because it's hidden, but don't, the way, that's how it's touched, attached to the sprue, so be very careful, it's bent that way. Um, and the picture looks like it should be straight, but it does go that way. Um, and what you're basically going to do is you take the other part we just built, and this kind of slots in. So you see there's a couple of gap holes in the back there? So you're just going to kind of kind of dangle it in. This is kind of position watchmaking kind of work here. <laughs> and then like that. And that is your flap. Oops, fell out. Wait a minute, I'm just checking the other one I did. Make sure it's right. Okay, it goes like that. Then I'm going to take my extra thin and weld this bad boy together as best as I can. So it's move. Just throw a bunch of glue all in there. Just checking against my other flap to see how it looks. Okay. Then on the underside, again, just a bunch of glue everywhere. Again, just checking my other one to see if it matches. Actually, push it in a little bit more. And that is it. I should flap down, I guess. Okay, so done the flaps. Uh, I'll show you in a minute, but I think there's a problem with instructions. Don't quote me, but I cut the pieces off, but I'm pretty sure they're wrong. I think C18 and C34 is mixed up. So I think C34 should be the left and C18 should be the right. Um, so just bear in mind, look at the diagram, how it, you know, the P should be facing this direction and, and that kind of stuff. But I'm pretty sure that was wrong. Um, also, I noticed on page 21, section, page, page 21, part 20, this part here is not numbered, but it should be C15. So should, down the side of the wing here should be C13 and C15 behind it. That's a couple of issues um, going on here. So again, I'm doing wings folded up. So now, we, now we're moving on to page 21. 
next few pages, you've got to figure out if you're going to do wings down or up. So I'm doing up wings folded, so number 20. So I'm going to follow this step here because I want to fold it, obviously. Um, so just looking down here, there's um, A15 times three, P three PE parts. Again, you're looking at microscopic PE. Um, let's for A. Um, A15. You're looking at like these little tiny guys. I'm not bothering with this. I mean, it's about like Edward P. You don't pick, pick and choose what you want to do. I'm not messing around with tiny little stuff like that. It's going to break off. I'm going to lose it and spend, make more mess trying to install it. So, pointless for me. So, I'm not putting those in. Um, when you get down here, you get a choice what you want down the side. Um, if you want to go with um, this guy, which is I, I3 and C6, or you can go with the smaller one. Um, I went the larger, longer one right here. So here's a choice which side you want to put on the end of the wing. So I'll show you in a minute. So I went with the, the larger. I, I believe it's a clear part, so I circled it and I went at the very end. Um, so I'll build the whole aircraft and the clear part's gone at the very end. It makes it easier than having to deal with um, masking and that kind of stuff. Um, what else? Um, that was pretty much it in terms of, so I've built the left wing. So let me kind of bring it all in here and show you. So it's looking pretty good. So downside here is PE, and then again, C13 and C15, it's not marked. And then this kind of folded part, which is F40, it goes like that. So this is pretty aggressive the way it folds. So that'll, that'll fix into the other part, the main fuselage, and you can see kind of the angle it's gonna be um, folded at. So it's a pretty aggressive fold. So that's how it goes in. It goes in that gap right there. Um, so just pay attention how I kind of glued this side bit in. Um, wings are down like that. I'm not sure they're, they're fully accurate or not, but hey, it looks good for me. So, and the wing sections, and um, the, sorry, the flaps, flap, and then the um, long here too. Added the, um, the you can have this up or down. I did it down, and then added the set longer section at the end. So that completes that left wing kind of section. Not too bad, a couple of hours work. So that one's done, um, no problem at all. And um, next up, we're gonna work on the right side. So just wanna stop by and give you that update. Um, that, yeah, looking pretty good the way that went together. These flaps are a little loose. I definitely wanna add more glue to kind of really knock that in there because I don't want these kind of waving around, especially when we've got a painting and weathering and stuff. This is a disaster, I think, when it happens, especially with camo patterns, trying to mask it and stuff. It's a little bit nervous about those wings. Maybe I might add a little bit of super glue, just really kind of lock it in there. Um, but yeah, so that's that side done. I'm gonna work on the right side and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so the right wing's done, no problem at all. Went together nicely, just as is the left wing we just did. Um, so both of these are now done. So it's nice, we've done so many little delicate parts on this, it's nice to get a bit of meaty pieces you know, to show, show some progress on this build. So looking good. Um, so these are done, flaps down obviously. We have our two flaps from earlier. These got a main fuse large, the part of the wing doesn't fold. So if you can imagine, you know, this is a wing, and then it folds like that. So this, we use these later on the build. Once we build the main fuselage, later on we'll attach these. So I'll put, this, put them somewhere safe in the box um, with the other parts we've assembled already, along with these guys. So with my builds, you should, if you follow along, you know I always build, build and paint sub-assemblies. Way easier, especially in this kind of instance. So we're not gonna glue this on like this and then try to paint camo and stuff. We're gonna prime, paint, weather these all separately and at the very end, bring it all together into the main assembly. Just 100 times easier um, doing that way. And we can, you know, handling this piece and stuff is way easier than you know, when it's built into the fuselage. So all this stuff will be done separately, sub-assemblies as we get, get through the build. Um, and there you go. So we don't need to worry about set parts 22 and 23. See, I put a line through them. So you've got your choice of, if you've got folded wings, it says folded wings, you're gonna do 20 and 21, like I just did. If you do wings out, like in flight, or you know, or wings unfolded, um, you're gonna do 22 and 23. So it doesn't quite explain that, but that's basically what it is. So, you know, at those four pages, you pick, pick the two, two options which you're going for. Um, so yeah, we're doing, making good progress on this. So, I mean, this part, we basically went from 16 through to 23. Um, I say it looks very complicated, but once you kind of figure out which way you want to go, and a lot of this stuff is redundant, but these parts, you don't, you know, you only obviously follow one, one line. Um, but yeah, there we go. So as I mentioned before, there's no set schedule to these, these videos. Whenever I get sub assembly built and a part of my video, you know, assembled and then, then also edited, I'll throw it straight up on YouTube as and when. So probably maybe a couple of weeks time, the next part will go up. 
But um, if you haven't considered, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Um, and you see all my latest videos and that kind of jazz. And um, I'll see you next time. So thanks. Have a great one.